This is a short video about the power of hyperbaric oxygen therapy and the ability of this therapy to give people back their lives. Vicki Harrison had an injury with reflex sympathetic dystrophy that totally altered the course of her life and was heading downhill. After just a few weeks of hyperbaric oxygen therapy, she's now able to walk, she's got her life back, and she's symptom free. And the message here is to get hyperbaric oxygen therapy for your RSD as soon as it is manifest. Okay, your name is? Vicki Harrison. And how old are you? 47. And you're here because? I have RSD in my left foot. Right. And today is September 17th, 2014. And this happened on July? The 8th. 8th. Okay, and you had about a 90-pound metal bar fall 10 feet or so onto the dorsum of your foot, top of your foot. And you were effectively barefoot. You had some flip-flops on, right? Exactly. Okay. Broke a bone in your foot. And as a result of that, you've had this continued pain and swelling and all the symptoms, right? Yes. Okay. And you've had three sympathetic blocks that have at least allowed you to touch your foot now. But the main problems still are what? Pain, swelling, um, discoloration. Okay. I still can't put any weight on my foot. Right. You have crutches. Let's see you bend your ankles up and down. Okay. And how about your toes? See so you move toes up and down. Flex them and... Okay. All right. Or a foot. Okay. All done. Still September 17th and she's had her leg both legs hanging down a little more now, and so it, the color change is a little more obvious, and I just wanted to take a picture. Okay, Miss Harrison just came out of the chamber after this one treatment, and number one, her toes appear to be pink now, as well as the foot. It's not the same purplish modeling. In addition, I think the swelling is down just a little bit. Go ahead and bend your foot again both of them. You know, I didn't have you do that beforehand, I don't think. I should have done that. Because your range of motion is more. And let me just do this from the side. Yeah. You only had about 15 degrees of range of motion. Very good. Okay. This is her in the chamber, showing her range of motion the color of her foot and her ability to move it and the, uh, the reduction in edema. This is her sixth hyperbaric treatment. Today is September 25th, 2014. This is Vicki Harrison. She's being treated for complex, complex regional pain syndrome. She's had seven hyperbaric treatments. She also has weight bearing. You can see now that she's able to put weight on her foot and walk which she was unable to do before hyperbarics. She's now had seven treatments. Vicki Harrison is status post nine hyperbaric treatments today, and she has come in, and you're walking now with, uh, what, out your crutches and bearing weight, huh? It, are you unable to handle a shoe? Is that it? That's right. The top of the foot is still sensitive. October 9th, 2014. This is Vicki Harrison coming in after her 16th hyperbaric treatment yesterday. It is still October 9th, 2014, following her 17th hyperbaric treatment. Can you move them up and down? Okay. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm very good. Good. How is your foot? Doing well, thank you. She's what? actually doing very well. Look at you walking. Isn't that wonderful? It is very wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. God is awesome. Sitting here right now, it doesn't bother you? It doesn't or? bother me. you got to be kidding. You're pain-free? I don't feel it right now. Wow. It's so October 24th, 2014. Vicki Harrison has had 27 hyperbaric treatments. This is her walking with both of her shoes on now.
today is Halloween and uh, so it's uh, October 31st, 2014 and you had your 32nd hyperbaric treatment yesterday and overall since you came here what's happened with this foot? Um, amazing things. Um, I was unable to walk. I was in such pain that when I, anything touched my foot it was painful. Um, I had um, no mobility without crutches, um, and now I am walking. I can touch my foot. Um, I can basically have my life back um, for a week. I've been on the elliptical doing 30 minutes a day. Um, it's a pretty big change. Uh, I am uh, amazed. Well, you know what I want to do? <clears throat> the final part of this. I want to just have you stand up and I want to see you walk uh, so you can bear away. Yeah, go ahead and walk here and go ahead and make a left turn and go all the way to the wall there. Okay. I just want to video your gait and then when you get there, turn around and come back. Okay. <laughs> and then just have a seat up on the table again. Well, it doesn't look like you're favoring that foot at all. Very good. Well, we're done. Do you have anything else you want to say? or um, we all... I am so thankful God healed me through you, and I am so indebted. Thank you so very much. No, we're just passing along some favors here, and you're going to do the same for many other people. So.